gosh, is she really supporting him? I don't know. Let's ask her. Dolores, is that you know whose picture you're carrying? Yeah. Oh, gee, it must be great campaigning for him. Are you going to the rally later? Uh huh. By the way, where'd, where'd you, you meet, meet him? him? I saw his great acceptance speech. So young and handsome on TV. You get the picture? Yes, yes we, we see. see. And that's when I fell for a leader named Barack. <laughs> Some folks are always putting him down. Down, down. They say he comes from the wrong side of town. What do you mean when you say that he comes from the wrong side of town? <laughs> but I know he can be a winner. A modern remake of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Now we all must vote for leader like Barack. Now, Mrs. Clinton, you should be warned. Warned, warned. You've lost and you don't understand why. You, you say she isn't understanding why. Voters say that race is something you don't fool with, but sexism is something we're totally cool with. The time is not right for a leader with a rack. And then, and then I had a dream. It was the 2008 presidential election, and Barack Obama was the Democratic nominee. Everything was going just great until those Republicans started it with those, what with those darned attack ads? Barack Hussein Obama, what kind of a name is that? Sure, he might not kill, boil, and eat your children, but why take the chance? Talk about his race. Ooh. Is Obama black? Not very. Not like Whoopi Goldberg. More like Halle Berry. Once you go Barack, you're never going back. <laughs> 